Good day viewers, this is BVI Channel 1. My name is Queen Madu and you're welcome to another segment of Reason with Queen. Hope you guys did not miss me so much. Okay, today I have interesting videos that I want to show you guys. So just relax, get your popcorn, eat and watch. Don't forget to, you know, comment because you see this video, now me and you get time. So as you comment, I read your comment. I know that I'm, I'm not doing the video for, you know, spirits. Eh? I'm doing it for you guys. So my first video is one very brave senator. Hey! There are people that used to give me joy in this country. Oh. And as much as most politicians are very, very self-centered and very, very coward, cowardice, right? Yeah, that's the word. This man is so brave that he stood tall in front of the Senate president and the and other senators and spoke his mind word for word, verbatim for verbatim, exactly what is happening in this country. I mean, raw, not messy, or not beating around the bush, not rigmaroling like all that senators used to do. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Mr. President for what he used to do. What is he doing? No, this man did not do that. He came straight ahead and tell them exactly the condition of this country. And for you, there is an abroad that is reading it. Here. My dear, it is more than what you are reading. No. Every blessed day there is kidnap, there is killing, people are missing, people are being people are suffering. If I tell you how much food is cost now, where you will open your mouth and scream. Nkata tomato, 55,000. One basket of tomatoes. Yesterday I went to buy tomato. They Seven pieces of tomato, they told me 700 naira. Those plump ones, seven. I was like, what? The most hated person in the world is the person that speaks the truth. And people will not want to listen to the truth because they do not want their illusion destroyed. Mr. Speaker, dear colleagues, I think enough is enough. We need to address the main issue now. Where are we? The role of government in governance is to protect lives and property of the people and to provide welfare for the people. Mr. Speaker, we have failed woefully in all this. My other colleague there, Sununu, said over 70 people were killed. My dear colleague from your state said over 50 people were killed. Somebody from Imo said their people have been killed. Go to the northeast, north central, northwest, southeast, southwest, south south. Our people have been killed. What are we doing in government? It is important we address this, Mr. Speaker. Is it the time when we have fighter jets moving here and there that we will address this issue? Something has to be done, Mr. Speaker. Now, see where we have gotten and there is still fanatical people that feel like yes it's enough to praise like i don't know how people just sell their conscience sell their life sell everything because of peanuts you sell your future because of peanuts like sometimes people like is it that these people don't have conscience is it that like eh, let me borrow the word is it that they are conscienceless like there is nothing nothing there like nothing People suffering, more than 200 million people are suffering daily here. And you can, it just, it, it feels like nothing to them. So this man came out and said something must be done. It's not until they start flying, flying uh, uh, jets, that people will not fire, uh, fire jets and the rest of it, that everybody will wake up. This is the time to wake up. And I still ask. If it is easy to send troops and troops of army down to southeast, please tell me why can't these troops go into the forest and fish out those bandits that terrorize and kill people? Why is there that no Fulani headsmen that have been killing people have been arrested? They call them killer headsmen. I don't understand. And it boils down to one thing I used to say this administration, there is something. Something they are not yet to say because they are actually not here to govern. They have something in mind they want to do. And it is not yet clear, even though it is clear to some of us. But I think maybe some of you have not yet seen it. I have seen it. 
because I just don't know why a government will just relax and watch properties being destroyed, lives being destroyed. Today, 50 people are killed in neighboring state. Tomorrow, 100 people are killed in Imo state. Tomorrow, all your people, 50 people died. This day, um, 50 um, students were kidnapped in Ogun state. Today, a school was kidnapped, a school was attacked in Kaduna state. Tomorrow, it is Castina. Next, tomorrow is Brininkebi. Every blessed day, there is one horrible news or the other. Horrible news, one after the, like back to back. They know they make mistake. Then you want to tell me about the food? On a normal, in a standard living, food is what's supposed to be the cheapest thing. But in Nigeria, 90% of your income goes to feeding. Now tell me how such economy is supposed to grow. How other people are going to invest in other things when you are trying to invest in food? How can you invest in other things in the area of your life? It is unfortunate. And I say kudos to this senator. If we have at least 100 senators like this, I feel the presidency would have set up by now because they make up the executive. But no, sorry, the judiciary. But no, it's as if the judiciary don't even know their job. They don't even know they are there to even regulate the executive. But in Nigeria, it is the other way around. The executive regulates the judiciary and it is horrible. That brings me to my second video. Buhari Onyem Buhari said that the youth need to behave if they want job. Just imagine. See, you know, when I watched that, that interview, he had it arise. I'm like, I, said, I feel ashamed. I feel ashamed that I still share the same country with these people. If he felt like it is shameful, just imagine what they call presidents. Like, you feel like you feel like you don't you don't even know whether to cry. You, 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 there's something that just keeps just start boiling inside you. You just you just start boiling. You, you know sometimes I just whenever he's talking, I just feel like entering my television and snap it. Okay. But what I'm trying to say is, he said if the youth need job, they should behave themselves. They shouldn't accompany bandits share fake news and do all those things and attack the country and expect um investors to come to the country so indirectly saying that we the youth are the cause of why there is economic failure the state has failed and everything says the youth that cost it so because they don't they don't know their responsibility, you know. They will have exchanged. Why right now is the common man? Why we are the president? So since we don't know our job as the president of the country, you know, the youth now, because that's what he said. He indirectly pushed the um, responsibility to the youth that we are the cause of banditry, we are the cause of headsmen, we are the cause of Boko Haram, we are the cause of uh, any other evil thing that is happening here. So for that, how can investors come and invest in an economy, economy that is not safe? So when we keep the economy safe, that's when we get job. A president! What a president said. Why? Because nobody is going to invest in an insecure environment. So I told them, I said they should tell the youth that if they want jobs, they will behave themselves make sure Nigeria is secure so that people can come and live there. Nigeria is a source for people know it. We are a rich country. God has endowed us. But nobody can bring, uh, look at the two, today there's like 200 buses bought by the former governor of Lagos. Some of the rich boys went and banned the Lincoln. The governor made an album, came and uh, I took the album and put it aside. I said, go and tell them to work. Who will go and invest his money in an unstable environment? Nobody will. It's just common sense. So you behave yourself, you make an idea secure. How shameful. That was how he shifted security, job, and responsibility to, the, to, to, to governors. Told them that yeah, it's not everything that they will be calling him. No, I said, Daddy, 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 no, no, no. I believe any about daddy. There's not everything you'll be calling daddy now. Sometimes you take up responsibilities. 
So he told the governors that they should stop disturbing him. But you guys wielded every single power. Every single executive power from police to army to whatever navy down to whatever at the center. How do you want those people to execute this? unforeseen powers you want them to wield why because they just love sugar coating incompetence this 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 government this they made incompetence look matured like they are shameless about it people who sleep and wake up and have issues with social media and put a press conference to address social media but you can never address the killings that is happening in this country a country where cows are more valuable than human beings properties mean nothing i mean millions and millions billions go down the drain every day an economy sorry every day a, a community is being raised down in a boring state is being raised down in in a state they are doing they are doing what they call community cleansing but still just still and still, this government pretend as if nothing is happening. Okay, this has brought me to the end of my video. As you all know, I am proudly on your dot. Hmm? And I hope you are carrying your badge very well. Because I think this dot nation is better than whatever thing. They are talking about. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platform, BVI Channel One on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Sorry, I forgot they've banned Twitter. Anyways, when they bring it back, you can follow. <laughs> and if you want to see my stuff in my own personal space, don't forget to you know subscribe to the Queen's World on YouTube. Until I come your way next time, stay well, stay safe.